Hi, my name is Kurkan Noor. I am an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today we are going to discuss how to configure the Storm God 2 and cool step for a stepper motor using TMC5130 Eval Kit and TMCL Integrated Development Environment. Stepper motors are driven in steps in open loop configuration by sending electrical current through the motor coils. This current generates an electromagnetic field which forces the magnetic rotor into the desired position. This can be done in full steps, half steps or smaller micro steps using additional current states. Therefore, we do not have any direct feedback information about the motor position and its operating current at any instant. The electromagnetic field of the stator pulls or pushes the rotor. This causes a phase shift between the magnetic field of the rotor and the direction of the rotating field of the stator. This phase shift is load angle or the angle between the two magnetic field directions of the motor's rotor and the stator. Under normal load conditions, the load angle is low and part of energy flowing into the motor also flows back to the power supply, resulting in back EMS. This back EMS indicates the mechanical load on the motor, meaning it can be used to monitor the actual load conditions of a drive system without using additional components. If there is a high mechanical load that can overload the motor, then the stop board feature comes into play by sending trigger signal to the control IC which in turn immediately stops the motor. Stop board technology prevents step loss, keeping step current integrity by stopping the motor when the set load value is reached. Cool step is dynamic motor current control based on stop board values. This sensorless load dependent current control always drives the motor at the minimum amount required for the actual load condition. By doing so, this technology reduces the motor energy consumption by up to 90% and reduces heat generation. Furthermore, by eliminating the current safety margin and allowing for temporary current boost, cool step allows for smaller motor since less torque reserve is required. Configuration of Star Guard 2 and cool step requires just few settings using the TMC5130 evaluation kit. The TMC5130 is an integrated motor driver and motion controller solution. The device has an integrated six point ramp controller, a micro stepping indexer, the sensorless star detection technology Star Guard 2, and the completely noiseless current control mode step job, and it is intended to drive a bipolar stepper mode. Open the TMCL IDE and connect it to the TMC5130 eval kit with USB. In order to configure the stall guard, we need to we need the motor to be running at a certain velocity. This velocity value should not be too low or too high, as too small value of velocity will have a very low B back EMF energy, which will be difficult to be detected. In this demonstration, we will use one revolution per second as the initial velocity. In order to set that, click on the velocity mode. Here we can see that the target velocity is written in PPT, which is pulse per time, which is an internal unit of the device. In order to calculate the relationship between the pulse per time and the real world revolution per second, we click on the motion calculator. Here in the velocity RPS, if we enter 1 and press enter, we can find out that it is equal to 53687 pulse per time in the internal unit of the device. Therefore, in order to set the velocity of 1 revolution per second, we have to enter 53687 as a target velocity in the velocity mode window. So now we close the motion calculator and enter 53687 as a target velocity. We also need some acceleration and for this we set the midpoint value of the acceleration knob and press enter. Now we click on the play button and motor will start running. 
So now we close the velocity mode window. Now we, now we will set the motor current by clicking on the current setting. Right now we can see that the run current is at 1.01 amps. We set it to half of its value. After that, we close the current settings window. Now in order to set the cool step and inst install guard, we have to click on the cool step and install guard setting options under motor 1. We now see two graphs. Red one is the actual motor current versus time, while the blue one is the stall guard value versus time. The stall guard graph is right now at zero. In the stall guard setting, the first variable we have is to set the stall guard to threshold. The, this threshold is an offset that is added to the stall guard value itself. We will increase it slowly one step at a time and press enter after every increment. Like this. and we will set it to a value as an example equal to 9. Motor is running right now at 53687 PPT. We set the spot energy stall velocity to a lower value than this value. As an example, we set it to 50081. and press enter. Now if I simulate a high mechanical load by trying to stop the motor by hand, the stall guard feature comes into play and the motor will stop. So now I'm trying to put a mechanical load. Now here you can see the motor stops and the motor cut goes to zero. Now we will click on the reset stall and motor will start moving again. We now set the sm smart energy set stall velocity to, to zero to, to disable the stall guard before we configure and demonstrate the cool step. Now we set the cool step feature by clicking on the cool step just beside the stall guard 2. The first parameter is called smart energy current minimum. This defines how low the current will be regulated in case of a cool step. We have two options here half of CS and quarter of CS. Here CS refers to current scaling which is the motor current we already set in the current setting. We can see that current in the current setting, which right now corresponds to 12 internal units and 0.55 ampere RMS. You can also see it here in the graph. Under no load condition, the cool step will regulate current to half of its value, which is 0.25 amps, which correspond to internal unit of 5.5 approximately. To get this working, we set the smart energy threshold speed to a value less than the current motor velocity of 53687. As an example, we set it to 25003. We enter 25003 and press enter. We set the smart energy hysteresis to 2 and press enter. Similarly, the other cool step parameter are smart energy current down step and smart energy current up step which actually defines how quickly the current will ramp up or down depending upon the slew rate and at the end we will set the smart energy hysteresis start to 2. So now we can see that 
our motor current jumps from 12 internal units to all approximately 6 internal units this is because right now there is no mechanical load and mac and motor is regulating a cool step to increase the efficiency of the whole system so now if i load the motor by putting a mechanical load using my hand we will see that the load increases and the controller regulates the current to full set value of 12 unit which corresponds to 0.55 of an amp Thus, as the Stahlgaard graph goes below the hysteresis blue bar, the current ramps up and vice versa. Stahlgaard and cool step increase the efficiency of the motor and is very ideal for battery operated solutions. This ensures a more compact, reliable, intelligent and integrated motor drive solution. Thanks a lot for watching this video and stay tuned for more interesting videos.